Welcome to Great Matt's Workshop. Today we're going to go over how to cut different types of flooring materials. But first we're going to start with safety and the equipment that you'll need to make sure you can do this in a safe way. First of all, you want to always protect your hearing. So a good set of earmuffs or earplugs. You want to protect your eyes. So safety goggles are always a must. And if you're cutting something that's going to produce a lot of fine particles, a dust mask is always a good idea. This is most common with wood or engineered hardwood type of flooring. And as always, make sure you have a good anti-fatigue mat from Great Mats. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to cut rubber flooring. There are four different types of rubber flooring, tiles, rolls, mats, and pavers. And here are some of the basic tools you need to cut most forms of rubber flooring. Now here we have a basic set of tools that you'll need for cutting virtually any kind of rubber flooring. A measuring device, something to mark where you're gonna cut, a square, a straight edge, cutting tools, and a two by four. Now let's start with how to cut an interlocking rubber tile. If you need to cut this tile to fit up against a wall and you just need a straight edge without the interlocks, one of the simplest methods is to use a simple straight edge guide and a sharp utility knife. First thing you wanna do is mark where you wanna cut. And one thing that works really well is to use a permanent marker. I've made a couple marks, and just to be sure that I keep everything nice and square, using a metal T-square is a really good option um, for both your cutting and your marking, as it will not shave off during the cutting process. Now once I've got that mark made, I'm gonna keep that T-square in place, and I'm gonna make a series of shallow scores with the sharp utility knife. After you've made a couple scoring passes, you'll find it helpful to put a 2x4 underneath the area you'd like to cut. This will help open up the seam and reduce the friction on your blade. Now that's all you have to do to cut a straight edge on a rubber interlocking tile. Now next we'll go over how to cut a corner. One nice trick here is if you have a framing square, you can just measure off with your, your tape measure. Now when it's time to cut, you just wanna make sure that you get that straight edge lined up nicely with your line and start in the corner and pull your way out away from the corner. Same thing as before, a couple of light scores until you get about halfway through or so. And it should open that seam really nicely for you. Then you come in from the other side, and again, work from the corner. Thank you for joining us in Great Matt's Workshop. And be sure to visit our website for more information and sample options, or give us a call to speak with a knowledgeable sales associate.